Hello and welcome to everybody on cloud fitness. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you how we can, you know, rename the part files which are generated by Spark in the data lake. So whenever, you know, you do a kind of, uh, you know, write command or uh, write of a data frame, whenever you try to write a data frame in form of any kind of files, be it your parquet files, be it your CSV file, be it your Avro files, then in that case, we always know that, you know, part files gets generated. Now, if you want to rename those part files, how we can actually do that, this is what we are going to see in today's video. But before moving on, do remember to subscribe to my channel and in case you are liking the videos, do remember to share the videos with your friends as well. So let's move on uh, to the portal and see how we can actually do this. So let me in fact first show you uh, how part files are actually generated, right? So if I go to the data tab uh, in the DBFS, so whenever, you know, uh, if you see over here, right, I have tried to, you know, write here, right? So the moment I write, uh, you can actually see whenever I try to write a data frame, you know, at, a, at any particular location using Spark, right? So then what happens is Spark executor nodes, they write these part files. And this is how the names looks like, right? Part hyphen five times zero hyphen tid right and then again you have a big number over here right so this is the part file now in case you want to rename those part files how you can do it right so for now i have a data lake created uh inside like i have a storage account in the microsoft azure portal created which i created just for this purpose i have two containers inside it input and output so in the input you can actually see that I have this iris.csv file, the typical one which I use in most of my videos. So I have added this file over here and then I have this output as well, right? And in the output container, I have this output directory at output folder and inside this, you can see that the part file is generated, right? So essentially what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to read a file from uh, read the CSV file from the input directory and then I'm going to write it to the output as a part file first and then I'm going to rename it. So if I go here, uh, you know, in my lot of other videos, I have shown you how we can connect to, uh, you know, the Azure storage account, your data lake from the Databricks using multiple ways, like there are multiple ways to do it. I'm using the easiest one right now since this is for the demo purpose in case you want to see detail about it, you can go and watch the videos, you know, different ways to connect Azure data lake with the uh, Databricks. I have that video. So right now I have what I have done over here is using spark.config.set. I have given the Azure account and then I have given the storage account key over here to connect, right? Now let me run this command. In the second command, I'm just trying to do fs.ls, right? dbutils.fs.ls. Now what exactly is this? This is just trying to list what is present inside my input. What is exactly present inside my input container of the Bhavna456238, this particular storage account. What is exactly present inside it, right? Inside the input folder. Inside the input folder, I have iris.csv and that is what it is showing over here, right? That the, okay, this particular file is present, right? Now, in the command number three, what I'm trying to do over here is I'm trying to read that particular file, right? As a data frame. So spark.read.option and, you know, I'm just trying to read it and just a display command for you to see how the data looks like. So I have read this comma, I have read this file in the data frame, right? And then after I have read this particular file, I am writing it in the output container, right? If you see df.write.modeoverwrite.parquet, this is the my storage account. And inside the storage account, I want to write it to the output, right? Output container. So this is the container name. Let me go back. This is the container. Ins I want to go inside the output and inside the output, I want to write it in the output folder. I can name the folder as anything, right? That does not matter. So let's say I can, uh, you know, if I write output 01, it will create another folder and it will write my files over there. So let me put it at uh, as output 01 so that you people are a little more clear. So let me just run it. So the moment I run it and you can actually see, let me go back over here. Let me go back in the output. 
you will see that it has created one more folder named as output 01 and here it has created a part file right this is the part file which is created right this is how it looks like snappy.partk this is the part file in the output 01 now I want to rename this part file right so first of all what I'm trying to do is I am trying to create a variable of the location where my part file is present right in command number 5 if you see this is the location where my part file is present in the output 01 folder in the output container of my bhavna456238 this particular storage account name output container and output 01 folder my file my file my part file is present so i'm just giving it as name as the variable x right now I have this variable x then the next thing that I'm trying to do is dbutils.fs.ls of x. Now here what I'm trying to do I'm trying to list whatever is present inside this particular folder and then I'm trying to filter that anything that that does not ends with parquet right. So if I go back here if you see 1, 2 and 3. These 3 files are does not end with parquet. So I am taking these 3 files, this committed, this started, this success, right? I am taking those files and for each of these files, I am just deleting them. I am doing dbutils.fs.rm. Now let me just copy it and run it separately for you to better understand it, right? So now if you see, now first let me run this variable x, right? I am defining where my files are present. Now I am running command 6, right? Even before running command 6, let me show you this. Output 01 folder, you have these files present, right? Now let me run my command 6. Now you will see, the moment I have run this and I go and refresh it, you will see only one file is present, which is nothing but my .parquet file. Now this is up to you, whether you want to perform this step or not. If you do not want to perform this step, you can just ignore it, right? And then the second step is nothing but renaming the file, right? Let me just copy it and put it over here for again for the better understanding. So if you go back here, now you have a part file which ends with snappy.parquet and it starts with part five zeros, right? This is my part file. Now here, essentially, if you see what I'm trying to say, dbutils.fs.move, right? First, it is trying to list the files which are which is present inside my output 01 and then it is filtering you know only that file which starts with part 000 right only the file which starts with this name right always all the you know files which uh, are generated by these park executor nodes will have this kind of uh, part hyphen 000 like this kind of uh, you know uh, prefix right so i have chosen my prefix and then i'm saying okay if my file name starts with this then in that case get the name till the first part which is nothing but you know get get me the get me the name part of it the moment i get the name part of it then in that case replace it replace it with youtube.parke right replace it with youtube dot parquet this is what it is trying to do so the moment i run the cell right and you can see the output is boolean equal to true it means that yes your uh, you know command is successful and if i go and refresh it over here you can actually see that this youtube dot parquet has been created right so this is one of the way you know you had, you can rename even the part files which are generated programmatically through the code you know once you do the same kind of stuff in your code it becomes little more complex you have to kind of tweak it as per your code right i have just shown you how to do it you have to tweak it as per your code right so thank you so much for being till here and do remember to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much